grade J-horror market is massive and insane. I mean, there are so many titles produced that you've never heard of, let alone will ever see. This is not one of those films. Usually these types of movies are just avenues for J-pop idols to make a bit of money at the expense of their hapless and obsessive fan base. But as far as I can tell, this doesn't appear to be an idol movie. Far from it. This appears to be a deliberate attempt to appeal to an international audience using cute Japanese schoolgirls stuck in a traditional slasher setting. And it kind of works, and it kind of doesn't. Six loosely connected friends are haunted by what appears to be the reincarnated ghost of their friend Asuka, who jumped off the school building after she realized that these so-called friends were anything but. The ghost has asked the friends to meet at their high school at night, where she wants to dish out punishments to them based on the way that they hurt her feelings. Wearing a giant rat mask, the ghost takes a few of them down until she is confronted by Asuka's best friend who reveals the truth. Surprisingly, for what should be a simple revenge slasher film is turned upside down towards the end where the twist is revealed that makes little to no sense at all. There's nothing inherently wrong with the film. For all intents and purposes, you could swap out the cast with a bunch of annoying American teens and release the movie on Tubi without losing any of the vibe of the Japanese version, which was probably the main aim anyway. And thus, this doesn't really feel like a J-horror film. When the Japanese attempts to make slasher films, they're usually heavily inspired by American films and this feels no different. We've got a mask-wearing killer, two of them in fact, a twist at the end, some fairly mundane kills, and most of these actually occur off camera as the movie does this annoying thing where it pauses the vision as someone's about to die. And most annoyingly, the cast is very, very American in their interactions and behavior. I fail to believe that any group of friends in any school around the world acts like the 17s in this film. At least it's short, that's another net positive. You know, when it comes to cheap J-horror slasher films, you could do a lot worse than this, such as Find or Execution Island. Just don't expect a uniquely Japanese horror film here, and you'll probably enjoy it. I give this one just the one smiley face. I'm the Adi Dance. You've been watching Shockmania. Press like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe and all that other jazz. Otherwise, I will catch you next time.